Hey, welcome to Brightworks. Uh, 1974 911S engine going back together, mag case. If you've been following along with the build, you've seen some of the other items we've done. Next up is to install the cylinder head. So the head's sitting right there. We're gonna get it on here. This is not rocket science. A um, couple things though, before you put the cylinder head on, you gotta make sure you get your uh, air guides in and you got to get your oil return tubes all checked out. So we're going to get on to that and uh, we'll check back with you. All right, so the engine is prepped, ready for cylinder head install. Um, these guys will use Molly Coat to make sure that the um, gasket here, the O-ring doesn't roll, because if it rolls, it'll thin out, right? And uh, that's why you get bad seals. And the other thing is, the other one that we installed, you always just want to look down in there and make sure that the seals went into the cylinder head well. Um, as far as the air guides, the older motors only have two of these uh, uh, little latching mechanisms. The newer motors, the bigger motors, they have a third one that goes in the middle here. Um, but these guys aren't cut wide enough for that to happen. Plus, we also made the, the modification to the air guides. Uh, it's in Bruce Anderson's book. It's in every Porsche book everywhere. And then last but not least, make sure on these older motors that use head gaskets, you put your head gaskets in. Otherwise, you're going to get all this stuff torqued down, and you're going to go, hey, what are these little silver things? Uh, and those are your head gaskets. So if you install the cylinder head before you put your oil return tubes are in, you're gonna be taking the cylinder head off. If you install the cylinder head before your air guides are in, you're gonna be pulling the cylinder head back off. So it absolutely makes sense to have all your stuff laid out. And uh, at that point, now we're just gonna drop the head on or the set of heads, right? We built them out as a, a assembly and we're gonna drop those on there and uh, we're gonna to torque these suckers down. We had already clayed the motor to make sure that we had enough clearance between the piston and the uh, um, cylinder heads and valves. But uh, now we're in final assembly. So we're gonna get that head on there and uh, we're gonna go through our torque procedure. All right, and there you have it, cylinder head install. So a couple things to look for down here where the cylinder head meets the piston, right? So you're just kind of looking at that all the way around, making sure everything looks square. Uh, we didn't hear any snap, crackle, pops, but you got a nice nice uh, view of it here again. And then same thing up at the top, checking the base gaskets, making sure everything's good there. And then the other you can do is you can just do a quick visual, kind of hard without flashlight for you to see down the hole. But each stud should have about the same uh, amount sticking up. So if we zoom in there, you kind of see what I'm talking about. So you just do a quick visual across there. And that is that. So we got the head on. So we'll turn this guy uh, right side up. And then we'll start to put some cams in. All right, thanks for watching. You can check us out at brightworks.com. Uh, and if you like these kind of videos, hit that subscribe button so that we know to keep on doing them. Have a great day.